Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, September the 19th, 2019, and this is episode 3118. My name is Bruce Turner. Glad to have you with us for today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Waiting. Stay tuned. So are you like me? You have <laughs> you have some struggles with waiting. You know, you want what you want when you want it. But waiting is a part of life, is it not? And God's Word has some really awesome things to say about that that I'll share with you today. It is 7 o'clock a.m. I have a 7.30 appointment at Billy Craft Honda, the dealership, to bring in Susan Elizabeth's car. Uh, there's an issue with the air conditioner, and we don't know what it is. And so I'll drop off the car, and they'll do a diagnosis, and they'll call me, and they'll give me the news. This is the problem, and this is what it'll cost. Waiting. Wondering. We have some very dear friends that have been waiting and wondering about medical diagnosis. Two people that I prayed for yesterday, Jessica and Olivia, are waiting for news, Jessica for her father, Olivia for herself. I have a dear friend that we've been praying for for months now, Michael, wondering what is it that caused this issue, waiting. Scripture says, wait patiently for the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Wait patiently for the Lord. Yeah, sometimes that sounds like easy preaching, hard living, though, doesn't it? In 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 6, it says, And David was greatly distressed because the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of every man grieved for his sons and daughters. But David found strength in the Lord his God. David wrote in, in the Psalms a lot about waiting. He was a pro at waiting. Psalm 25, 3, Surely none who wait for you will be put to shame, but those who are faithless will, without cause, be disgraced. In Psalm 31, 24, Be strong and courageous, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 37, 34, Wait for the Lord and keep his way, and he will raise you up to inherit the land. Psalm 40, verse 1, I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. Psalm 130, verse 5. I wait for the Lord. My soul does wait. And in his word, I put my hope. Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown commentary on um, this verse, Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He, he said, tell us that the waiting is confident expectation as if expecting new measures of help. Matthew Henry said about this passage, wait on the Lord by faith and in prayer and a humble resignation to his will. Here are some tips that might help you if you're in a waiting situation. Number one, realize you will not reach your breaking point in my opinion, the reason we are so impatient for our prayers to be answered is that we think we won't make it otherwise. In our subconscious mind, we think that that about this thing we're praying for, we can't survive. But if you constantly think to yourself, I can take it, you may not realize it, but you're waiting on God. God has promised not to let you be tested above your ability to endure. Number two, look for the gift in the difficulty. There is no pain or loss 
that is devoid of some sort of blessing, whether it be a friend reaching out to you, discovering a strength you didn't know you had, or the ability to help somebody else in the future. There's always something good within the bad. Number three, rejoice for the opportunity of a faith check. You say, okay, I want my faith to be strong, but I don't enjoy these faith checks. When you go through something awful or unexpected, you get the chance to see whether or not your faith in God is real. Before I experience any major difficulties in my life, I remember being afraid of anything bad happening. I would wonder if my trust in God was strong enough to withstand. Now I don't have to wonder. I know my faith is the tried and true real deal. What are you waiting on God for today? What are you needing to trust him for? Father, I pray today for all of the morning men, a family of listeners, that those especially, Lord, who are waiting for something, that you would strengthen them and encourage them, that you would help them to find their hope in you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, Bruce Turner at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. I'm on my way to Billy Craft Honda. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. <laughs>